so I just want to ask you this other question um when you were diagnosed with yeah. lung cancer yeah it, you didn't want to tell anybody like you wanted to keep it to yourself yeah which is very difficult yes because you could not deal with all of that alone yeah. despite everything you knew that your loved ones would be going through yeah why was it that you didn't want especially mom and dad to know about it yeah why 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 i wanted to keep the diagnosis to myself was because you know everyone knows how devastating cancer is how difficult it is to treat and how fatal it is the fatality rate is extremely high <clears throat> i think it's it has the highest fatality rate mm. so i really wanted to keep it to myself because they were at the point in their lives where they knew their their kids are set they are becoming independent they are happy they, yes they were absolutely happy because at least we could we reached at the point where we could take care of ourselves and you know so they were really really happy and for you to break the news to them that one of them is down with this kind of thing it was going to shatter them and i was at that point where i was really happy to see them happy, happy. so i did i did i i really mourned when i found out because i knew it was going to hit them hard and so they I will wanted, never recover uh, from yes, it yes yes they will, it will be very difficult for them to recover from me from it knowing how much they love me so that's why i was trying to you're our grandfather you know <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i tried as much as possible to keep it to myself but mm -hmm. i knew it was going to be difficult that's why i had to have you and so you ran from is that you were not going to tell was that was the most difficult thing for me to handle was not the doctor breaking the news to me but me having to break the news to my family mm -hmm. yes that's how difficult it was that's the real bone of contention i know your breaking point was when sullivan cried yeah, yeah. when he could not contain the news you told yes. him because he has he's been the strong person he is the strongest in the family it broke your heart when he started he, when he broke down crying because yeah. he could not hold the shock. i i did expect that to happen I did expect that to happen to anyone I broke the news to because I know how devastating it is for you to find out. So it, it did not come to me as a shock, but it was more traumatizing because I was actually relieving the fact that really they are going to go through, uh, you all are going to go through a lot of emotional stress. But that did not come as a surprise to me because it's absolutely very difficult for you to come to the realization of the fact that uh, someone you love is suffering. actually suffering from cancer it's devastating because it's an illness that is associated with a lot of pain a lot of trauma a lot of difficulty and most people only survive by the special grace, grace of god. god yes so so uh, it, it it was it was that it was quite a challenge for me quite a difficult challenge for me well i knew it was hard on your part and then um I would just add a little bit of something what i was going through the feeling i was having inside of me i just imagine mom having to feel that i'm like yeah. no mother should feel what i am feeling because yeah. i am your sister you're a part of my body because i was in, out in my head I, I was just thinking of the pain that you were going through and yeah. that is why i was crying so badly i'm like this is he's like my child he's like my mom he, I remember when you were coming here, mom was like, this is your child, you should yeah, take care 100%. of. I didn't tell you that, but mom was like, this is your child. I know he's the baby here. I know B will take good care of him. I just knew, I just want you guys to give him that special care, you know? Yeah. And then I was like, okay, my mom gave me this child. You're my brother, but I always tell people that that is my child because I think we connect so much. This pain, I don't think mom can take it. I think mom is strong, but then this is cancer. Yeah, so you know, it's, it's and for dad, for he everyone. will cry and yeah, cry and yeah. cry until he. I know dad cannot survive this. Yeah, dad will not survive this, but mom, I know she's she's a faithful person. She cancer just knew is, that. is is enough to break the heart of a lion. Right, so right, because there's... I was losing my faith in God. I just knew that God did not like me. I was trying to understand with you. I'm like, this is your help. You're dealing with it the way. And the last thing I wanted to do was to stress again about the family knowing about it. I know Big Sis wouldn't have taken this life. Yeah, definitely. And especially this my mom. Is... My mom in Bambili too. She's the one person I did not even want her, 
even hard to find out because she's not that sh- that she's well not. she's strong in other things but, but when, when it comes, comes to, to her children yes yes her children seeing them going through pain it's I something know. she has never been I able know. to handle mom mom so in she used Bambili, to call me all the Bambili, time she yes. has never handled yes that. she used to call me all the time and she will tell me i need you need to do as much as possible to, to have something. a comfortable life you need to tr- try as much as possible to get out of dubai because i hear it's a bit of a challenge that is there. a mother's feeling yeah she used to call me all the time she will encourage me when are you going to marry uh, she will so all those things i and i made a lot of promises to her mm-hmm. so then calling her to tell her this is it it would have really because shattered her, her head, every time. that is and the only thing yes, you and, think. De- and even before I found out, uh, it was just a few moments after she had had an accident again on the same leg that she broke about 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. So the same leg she broke the second time. So it was so difficult uh, mm-hmm. having to tell her when she's actually going through a great deal of pain. It was it was more than a challenge. So I, I, I had to keep it. Yes, I had to keep it a secret. So do you think keeping it a secret <clears throat> until this point? Again, we are not releasing these videos today. Today is the thirteenth, so we are yeah. not releasing the videos. Thirteenth of April, twenty twenty one. Yeah. We will release them when he's ready to talk yeah. about it. So do you think that telling them now is the best thing you did, despite what the people were like? If you're sick of something, tell people, and this is and that. Do you think keeping them from your mother in Bambili, mom and dad? Yeah. Um, our sisters and our elder brother in the seminary. Do you yeah. think keeping it away from them and telling just myself and Big, do you think that was the best thing you did? I think. Do you think it was a great decision? I think ignorance is bliss. Right. Because if up until the moment that I finally opened up to you that I was suffering from cancer, mm-hmm. the way you felt about my cough was different, one hundred percent. Right. Because deep down within you, you know it was just a resistant cough. Right. Yeah. So right. ignorance is bliss. Yeah, ignorance is bliss. I think I, it was good for me to keep it that way because I saved them a great deal of okay. stress. Yes, because there was absolutely nothing they could do. They would not take the cancer away. It would just cause them to worry about me the more unnecessary of which they could do absolutely nothing about it so all i could ask for was for them to pray for me to mm-hmm. recover mm-hmm. from what i told them was uh acute bronchitis mm-hmm. that's that's all yeah so so uh, all along they've yeah. known is acute bronchitis up yeah. to this point yeah yeah definitely so it i think it was better for it to stay that way mm-hmm. yes it was absolutely better for me to stay that way but again uh it's it it was a difficult decision for me to make because i had to lie to them and you kept lying you were lying basis. i was and lying I'm still lying. Was lying and i would and keep on I was lying to, to yeah to everyone yeah. around me yeah. and so stuff it's, like it's, that it's it's you know it's it's better for you to find out uh, when it's over whether it ends good Oh, or it ends bad than for you to have to struggle with it till the point when it's over it's just good for you to keep it safe uh, I, I think if you're strong enough to handle it on your own then it's it's good for you to handle it on your own unless you need the support of those around you mm-hmm. it's it's not wise to break it out to them. But, but it varies from person to person. person that's how I feel personally mm-hmm. that and I had yeah. to keep it away from them just to no, keep them safe yeah. from the pain yeah from the pain and, and the heartache oh uh, yeah right all in all cancer is real yes. cancer is real yes, it it's can be 100 it, it real. is real and that it is can one be in thing anyone, yeah. it can be in anyone yeah not because like if it did not happen to you i wouldn't have even imagine like yes that's it because uh when it when you keep on hearing from it and not actually experiencing you it, don't know how it really feels far-fetched. Like. yes and there uh, are uh, a lot of uh, people around me who knew i was sick even though most of them do not know what i was sick uh, with because i did not tell them 
uh, it, they actually came to the realization of the fact that it's good for you to take uh, care of your health. Mm -hmm. So it, it does happen. And one thing, one thing that I really know, uh, really saved me from having a great deal of trouble is because I did not have a smoking In history. history. I was smoking, mm -hmm. I would have experienced the after effects of the cancer. Quicker. Long before now. Yes, yes, yes. Longer than now uh, because it would have accelerated the the the, 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 the rate of it. You know, uh, 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 smokers are I think uh, fifteen times more exposed uh, to suffering from lung cancer more than no, uh, no, non -smokers. non smokers. Yes, and it's also fifteen times more fatal than smokers than in non smokers. Yes, so it would have precipitated the rate and it would have made uh, the, the the treating of the cancer more difficult than it actually was. So the the chances were higher because I was a non smoker. Yes, mm -hmm. so I think uh, most people who die of 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 lung cancer, adenocarcinoma, what precipitates it is smoking. Yeah, what uh, makes it uh, the, the 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 mortality rate higher is uh, smoking. So non smokers uh, uh, smokers are in a, in a danger uh, in a uh, their own uh, uh, rate of danger when it comes to uh, having cancer. It's higher than the rate of those who don't smoke. So uh, I think uh, that that for the fact that uh, my, I was able to handle it. Uh, up to this time and I think uh, the, 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 the the prognosis were better mm -hmm. was because I, I don't have a smoking history, history. Yeah. yeah wow this is uh, I don't know I never thought in my entire life that we will actually have to talk about cancer like um, you're dealing with cancer because yeah, I but never then, saw it coming yeah yeah you know but I, life is to one extent I suspected it could be because uh, it was beyond normal Mm -hmm. So the coughing was beyond normal. So to an extent, I suspected it could be. I know you have you have been strong throughout this your this your period of illness yeah, yeah. since before you were diagnosed of cancer in yeah. December, and even up till date, you yeah. have been so.